All right, ladies and gentlemen, Christopher Green, boys and girls. It is June the 15th, 2022. <laughs> And to get into the first ever fractionalized real estate with Project One in Maui, Hawaii, opportunity in the world, Island Project Blockchain Launch, July 4th, to clear your independence with us. Click the link below and get in at school at BitcoinRich.com. Only our BitcoinRich.com members will get into the early bird access round of island project i'm super excited again launch date july 4th that's all you got to do is join so let's talk about what the fed did today raising interest rates a measly 75 basis points guys that's all we're still under two percent in the 1980s the fed funds rate was at 20. we were under a trillion dollars worth of debt we have 30x to 30 trillion dollars today the Federal Reserve has stimulated this economy with fake paper wealth for far too long, and now Americans are paying the consequences with what many are arguing is not just inflation, but a hyperinflationary collapse in the West, which is what I would suggest trust the plan is what they want, because that is leading a horse to water, of course, to where they're taking all of us. Central bank digital currencies. We're also seeing pressure in the cryptocurrency market, which in my opinion, and this is what I'm doing, and I'm encouraging our students to do, not financial advice, buy aggressively at these levels. Bitcoin at 20K, holding rather nicely. Keep in mind, zoom out, we were at 3,500 Bitcoin just two years ago. We were trading under $1,000 Bitcoin not too long ago. And we also see Ethereum holding the critical level of 1,000. This is all part of the washout again, of retail, so they can establish more regulation before tokenizing this entire planet, which is exactly what they're going to do. And they're definitely 100%, in my view, moving to the digitized option, which is what these central bank digital fiat currencies are. So you need to be learning about this stuff, number one. You need to be pivoting into it. You need to be creating incomes and cash flows will be very important in the United States of America during a depression. And also, as a result of the Federal Reserve policy, I think we're going to see heightened levels of unemployment and more firings at Fortune 100 and Fortune 500 firms. And this includes the obliteration of small, medium-sized businesses. So this is just another reason why you need to empower yourself with the knowledge and the skills. Because as we move into a new society, Okay, as we move into a culture dominated by artificial intelligence, we just had that data dump come out from Google just a couple days ago that said this AI being as sentient as robots and delivery drones are used and to replace human drivers with self-driving cars and all of this moves into this Borg hyperweb that they're creating. It's going to be tougher and tougher to have a good career and a good job. So you're going to have to become somewhat independent of mind and look for our alternatives and also study up in the number one opportunity in the world, which I believe is the blockchain space. So I want to provide some encouragement with that. Also, I did see the movie, finally, Top Gun. Watched that, went on a little boys' night last night, and I wanted to comment and give a little bit of a review. Great movie. I mean, it's one of those movies you can see over and over again. Top Gun, the original, which I just recently rewatched, happens to be one of my favorites. My brother Cody uh, and I used to watch that movie all the time. It's the ultimate man's man movie. But I wanted to comment a little bit just from a propaganda perspective uh, in some of the subtle propaganda that I saw in the new film without giving away maybe too many spoilers. One, I saw and felt almost like no Americana in the movie. Like I can't even remember once I even saw an American flag quite frankly. So they kind of removed the national identity of we're a great country and this is the United States and we have sovereignty. It felt like we weren't even a country in the movie. In addition to that, there was subtle propaganda that Maverick would no longer be needed because AI and robots will take over his position as a fighter pilot in the future, which is currently how wars are being fought. And I would argue is currently what has already happened, whether or not this is reorganizing and managing our entire society economically, financially at the central bank level, and then creating new digitized assets and currencies like CBDCs, or it's on the war front, 
with AI technology and machines that will fly themselves. So that was another takeaway. The other takeaway was there was no real sense of why we were fighting the war or what war we were fighting. The only information we got in the film is that basically there was a target to be taken out in Iran, which also is subtle propaganda that tells you that the great World War III will be fought against Iran. But it was kind of like blasé. Uh, they didn't really give much information on, again, the Americana, that we're a great country, why we were fighting, and who we were fighting. There was a kind of this mystique. And then there was kind of the tokenized woke Hollywood propaganda of more cultural appropriation. Um, for example, they included a female fighter pilot, which is cool. But And I don't necessarily know the answer to this question, but I'd like to ask you. I just suspect there's probably very few female fighter pilots in the world, especially at the top gun level. Like, is it, is it not factually mostly men? But again, Hollywood being super woke has to manufacture fake reality sometimes. So if I'm wrong about that, let me know. But I don't think I'm, I'm wrong about that. I think it's dominated by males just as a fact. And then in addition to that, especially at the top gun elite level or whatever that equivalent is, pretty much all male. So, you know, they had to throw a female in there too, as Hollywood would typically do. So we are obviously in a depression. This is not a recession. Okay, this is not what they're telling you. Of course, the Federal Reserve got interest rates so wrong and inflation so wrong that now it's out of control and they basically have to hyper pump. So now if they're raising by 75 basis points, we can only imagine how wrong they're getting it now, how they're probably sending us into full collapse mode. More unemployment, more layoffs. We've seen major, major firms cut back. Tesla firing 10% of its staff. Uh, we're seeing this in tech. A lot of layoffs in Silicon Valley. We're seeing what they're calling the crypto winter, which I think is the perfect time to build. It's one of the reasons why I'm launching Island Project now, uh, because this is actually when the real money will be made for you tuning in. So I want to encourage you guys. This is when you want to get in at school. This is why you want to build a portfolio now, stick to your asset allocation, dollar cost average, and in my opinion, this is what I'm doing and encouraging my students to do, you should be buying now, aggressively, over time, and then hodling these positions into the next couple of years. So I'm very, very bullish. I think that there is not probably never been a better, more optimistic, bullish case for Bitcoin in the blockchain space than now, especially with the general demographics and shifts, technologically speaking, of where we are headed in the future. So a lot of unemployment ahead. And let me just go to CNBC.com. And again, this is why you need to take care of yourself and your family, ladies and gentlemen, not just prep. But let's talk about those cash flows. Those cash flows are going to be super important for you weathering and supporting yourself in this storm. Okay, so you got to learn these skills on how to create income at school. And then also, in addition to that, you get the first mover access to our tokenized real estate project, Island Project. All of the world's assets are going to be tokenized in the future. We're talking a multi-quadrillion market. I'm not the only one that has said this before. Many in the cryptocurrency space, Brock Pierce, one of them, uh, said this years ago. And I agree with him. This means every asset class will be fractionalized and tokenized. Much like we saw the Airbnb model come in and disrupt the space of real estate. Years ago, we're going to come in and disrupt in a massive scale and a massive level in the real estate game, which includes... True ownership, it's not a timeshare. True tax advantages, true cash flows, use of property, and backed in aggregate by our proprietary blockchain and what we call NFPs, non-fungible parcels of which you guys own. Building a freedom community and declaring our independence worldwide. So this is going to be a massive trend, and you're going to see major Fortune 100 begin to wade into this space, tokenizing everything. They'll tokenize real estate in middle America. What we're doing is different because we're highly specialized, highly niche, and we're putting together a portfolio of the best assets in the world, oceanfront, beachfront, flagship properties of which you'll have access to, and then a wider network of supportive infrastructure like concierge, my Jeep company, and everything else. So it's just a cool community as well. Uh, and more information on that at the website launch, islandproject.com, when we go live. So I'm super, super stoked. I'm putting a lot of work and energy uh, into that. And, you know, we're seeing travel pick up, so that's good. We've seen some restrictions loosen uh, in places like Canada. So we've seen some improvement with that. But let's talk about rates because, 
you know, I've argued most of my life that this whole system is a scam, right? If we're built on artificial debt, if the average American doesn't really own anything, and this is why Island Project's important, everything we own is in cash. We have no leverage and no debt. So this is how we prep for the storm, all of us, is that our underlying asset base is owned outright. There's no bank debt, there's no mortgage. Okay, it's a very unique quality, actually, of Island Project and how I constructed and built uh, this private portfolio, along with my father and the rest of my team. So what you have is when you get the uptick in the interest rates, this really affects people's monthly payments. Just like inflationary pressure and rise in oil prices affects what you're going to be able to fill up your tank per gallon at the pump. So I am expecting somewhat of a slowdown in parts of the country when it comes to real estate. We have seen some layoffs in Redfin. So this is why it's going to be so important and so advantageous, okay, to basically get in now. Maui, Oahu, Hawaii's different. You know, we have so much wealth here that prices, this is the most stable value in the world. And I believe it has the highest price appreciation potential in the world. You know, I've seen this three, three generations through my own family. And this is pu a public example, but we had, you know, Jeff Bezos, he came in $75 million, just bought multiple parcels, well, word on the street is he just acquired another $30 million. So these guys are buying everything right now. And what we've constructed is a way for you guys, the little guy, to buy these same high-performing asset classes in the real estate space so that you can compete in a world where they don't want you to own anything and they want you to be happy and they want you to rent everything and they don't want you to have ownership. This is how you get a piece of the action. Plus, our blockchain launch will be coupled with our first movers. When that public sale occurs in the future, all of our initial members okay, will be rewarded that blockchain equivalent based on scheduling uh, and based on vesting and how early that you got in. So I'll release all those details, not financial advice, room and disclaimers and disclosures on my website. We've uh, filed uh, with our legal team uh, the Reg D offering, which is in the works now. Uh, to be launched very soon, July 4th, 2022. So ownership is going to be key, right? Because what they're doing is repricing the middle class out of assets. And what we're doing is helping you get in to those assets. With liqui liquidity, you can buy and sell. Uh, for example, after a short vesting period, you can sell your fractional ownership. I don't think you'd want to do that because you own the best piece of property in the world. And then in addition to that, um, you know, as we've seen all the smart money by farmland, ag land, and all these resources, Island Project Portfolio will also include that. In fact, we, we will also be holding a little bit of gold uh, in our diversified portfolio on behalf of our members. So this, this is just going to become so much more a part of mainstream, I guess what I'm saying. We're just early here at islandproject.com, soon to be la launched, and bitcoinrich.com. And it truly is in my view, which is why I'm putting all my money and talent into this and starting all these businesses around it. It's, it's really the number one opportunity of this new century. It's the number one opportunity of the next few years and the next decade. And you always want to get in, okay, at a moment like this, when Bitcoin's at 20K, when Ethereum's at 1K, this is how, in my view, you're going to get the big bang for your buck and the huge returns in the future. So I just want to encourage you guys, you know, I'm incredibly optimistic of where we are headed. Also, more on the war front in Ukraine. China's now saying that they want some kind of peace settlement agreement in Ukraine shortly uh, after Vladimir Putin has pretty much successfully taken the eastern seaboard uh, and s southern region. Uh, there's been an incredible loss of life, uh, according to the mainstream media, which is absolutely terrible. We still have Elon Musk working his Twitter deal. There's been no finalization uh, on that acquisition yet. And then, of course, we're also entering just a, a crazy, terrible, I would argue, um, upcoming election, which is going to be filled with divisive rhetoric, uh, arguments, and basically complete chaos, I would say, on both sides of the aisle, right and left. That, to me, is just going to be a distraction as these larger elements play out. And what are the larger elements, guys? Reclassification of assets, repricing of money, new currencies, 
new digitization of those fiat government sovereign currencies called central bank digital currencies, new emergence of new blockchain technologies like Bitcoin and digital gold, and then the fractionalization of asset bases around the world, whether or not this is land, real estate, uh, stocks, fractionalization of stocks, really any kind of commodity that you could think of will be fractionalized, digitized, and blockchainified in the future. And what we're living through now is we got a lot of FUD out there. We got FUD on the Celsius move, which they're having a lot of problems as a company right now. We've had FUD on Terra Luna, even though the hedge funds and insiders went 100 to 1 on their money and then dumped it on retail's head, like I reported on, which is all public and true. And Or it's now where they're telling you, oh yeah, you know, stay out of this blockchain space. No, this is when you want to get in, is right now. It's like getting in in social media or e-commerce in the early days. So the Fed rate, uh, rate hike is a big nothing burger. We're still under 2%. They're saying expect more unemployment. They're, they're saying expect hardship. They're saying expect a recession. Uh, inflation was not transitory at all. So if they're saying that they've got it under control now, you can count and bet your butt that they don't. It's going to be far worse than what they're saying. And then they'll throw another geopolitical event, probably the invasion of Taiwan, very, very soon, which will throw the world into even more chaos to further their agenda, again, of where they're taking all of us. So, again, just be firm in your foundation, ladies and gentlemen. I want to encourage my brothers and sisters out there, be firm in your foundation. Jesus Christ is King, Lord of Lords. Uh, the Top Gun movie, awesome. You know, if you're into that sort of thing, I encourage you to watch it. But there was, you know, pretty hot, you know, pretty subtle propaganda there. But it was an, it was a great movie to watch. And I encourage you to be all the top guns in your life. Be the Maverick. Be the digital cowboys out there. Be our warriors for Christ, our spiritual warriors, and go get them. Create those cash flows. Create those incomes. Thousand X your mind, your body, your soul, your life. Get in at school. So you'll have first access to Island Project upon launch, July 4th, 2022. All you have to do is click the link below and register, and then stay tuned for a video announcement at school, which will provide instructions for the islandproject.com launch, which will tell you what to do and explain more about that opportunity, disclosures, risks, and all of that good stuff as well. So want to see you there. Not everyone's going to get in. Again, this is a very limited supply opportunity. There's only so many non-fungible parcels that we're selling as a part of Project One funding round. So everybody that gets into that is truly a founder of what I believe is the number one blockchain technology in the world, tokenizing specialized, highly valuable real estate, starting here in Maui, Hawaii, our flagship portfolio, and then expanding worldwide, of which you'll hold your own keys to the blockchain that represents your underlying ownership of all of these said assets. And think about what you're betting on, guys. You're betting on this growing portfolio over time, okay, not just the underlying proof of concept portfolio here in Maui and Oahu. So you're getting in so early, you know, just like you look at a stock, stocks are representative of the future cash flows, team management, and their ability to grow said revenues over time, control expenses, etc. That's your bet. And so you're betting on something which I believe, this is my intention and my opinion, not financial advice, is a 10,000x plus opportunity. It is truly the wave of the future. And I encourage all of you to grab your surfboards today and get in at school. BitcoinRich.com. Very easy. That's all you need to do to get in. And I'm Christopher Green, hard hitting. And in your face, Jesus Christ is King. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded.